Uh, this model kit review is of an older model kit um, and this is the Ferrari 288 GTO uh, by Fujimi uh, originally by testers actually and uh, I don't have a box, I bought this online um, it was pretty inexpensive but uh, when you get to look through the kit you'll see why because a fair amount of it's damaged so uh, probably still be able to build it um, but it's going to take some extra work so um, let's start off here uh, with looking through our parts. So, first of all, here is our cabin, and uh, as you can see here, we've got uh, this is our front bay here. Usually, the spare tire goes there. This is the classic uh, 288 GTO uh, central console with the uh, uh, little buttons here, as well as our gated shifter. This is in 116 scale, so a bit larger than the regular 124th. Here we've got our chrome, and this is actually in pretty good condition. Um, the chrome parts normally I don't like because uh, they're too shiny, but this chrome actually looks very nice. And we've got our wheels, those are the classic uh, Ferrari wheels there. And there's the other parts, we've got the Back wheels are larger, and then looks like uh, our disc brakes probably over there. Okay, here's another set of chrome parts. We've got our mirror there, our stick shift, probably side mirrors there because they were kind of square. There are our exhaust and then hub caps there. So nicely molded there. Here we have got um, our white sprues, and uh, this part has fallen off already. That is our very square 1980s dashboard. Um, this has GTO written on the side here, and then they had some dials there, and then radio and steering wheel came through here with the dashboard. So over here we have our um, at uh, the top of the uh, dashboard there, our vents, and uh, we've got our seat uh, headrest there. Here we've got our steering wheel with some flashing, as you can see there. Here are our seats. These are the classic Daytona seats, as they're called. Um, with that's the back there, um, and uh, these are the bottoms of the seats. So the back will go onto here, as you can see they're hollow. We've got the insides of our doors, which are kind of spartan. And um, here's our um, handbrake, our, looks like our uh, pedals. And then the uh, steering column there. This looks like probably our visors. Yeah, that's probably a visor. So molding quality is reasonably good. Um, obviously this is a very old kit with some old molding and then we've got the black sprues here well actually just one sprue and uh, here we've got um, all the boxes for the air and vents we've got our radiator and radiator fans um, our front grill we've got our um, these are the suspension parts the wheel hubs there and this is the front because you can see there it's going to have the steering rack attached there and we've got our battery and some shock absorbers and there are our brakes uh, not sure what that's for, if you look at the instructions there's our uh, there's more wheel parts there and uh, more shock absorbers there and then that's our uh, torsion bar Okay, this is a really big sprue here. Got lots of parts here on this one. So this looks like, uh, I'm not sure if that's a, maybe part of that's probably the engine, the engine bay there. And uh, here we've got lots of engine parts. So more engine parts here, very nicely molded, good level of detail. Here are our headers, uh, part of our uh, transmission, 
um, more engine parts, our um, intercoolers, there's our exhaust parts, more engine parts there, all very nicely molded, look at the detail here. There's a distribute. Uh, that's actually our oil. It's our oil filter there, and then part of our. Uh, it's part of our transmission there. But lots of little details, um, exhaust parts. It's really, really well made, and uh, lots of good detail there. Now here we have our tires, these are actually um, looks like vinyl, but two large wide uh, tires with some nice tread there. And then the two front tires, we've got some, an axle there, we've got some springs, we've got wiring here for our uh, wiring harness or um, any part of the engine bay. And then looks like some recent gold parts in there, or brass parts, not sure what those are for. So we'll look in the instructions. Now over here, we've got the main body. Unfortunately, this is where things get a little ugly, because it's been crushed. You can see there, it's been squashed, it's snapped there, it's cracked there, uh, it's bent there, bent there on the A-pillar. Um, so that's all looking pretty ugly there. Still, I think it's fixable. That crack there is fixable too. There's a the classic GTO with the um, Ferrari symbol. And it uh, looks like the back's going to open up as well as the front. We've got some very good detail here um, for our grills. But unfortunately, that's going to need quite a bit of work to get it back together. Here is our chassis, and uh, molded in here is our um, engine supports, as well as our wheel wells. Here is the uh, remaining red sprue. And uh, this part's about to fall off here. We've got a very nicely molded uh, grill. This is for our back. Um, to cover the engine bay. Here are our doors and these are beautifully molded. Nice detail there. Here are our headlights and these will pop up it looks like. And then our side mirrors, they're very square. Hinges there, more hinges. And uh, there's our front hood. And uh, some more ducts there. And then this is uh, the rear, I might as well take that off now, this is the rear, um, we've got vents there for the, the back part there, uh, so that actually sits up behind, like that, so we go like that there. So that's all nicely molded as well. And then lastly is the glass, now this is the disappointing part. Uh, that is the windshield, which is just absolutely fractured and smashed. Not usable really at all, because you can't glue that clear glass back together. And it's missing a segment, which is probably down here. Um, so we have to recreate this. There is also a crack in that glass. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get that back together or make it disappear. And there's a small crack in this glass. Uh, the rest of it's molded very nicely. We've got the curved rear glass there, and our lights. That's the dial covers there. These are our lower front uh, lights. There's the instrument panel. These are our rear lights, the classic Ferrari lights. So let's have a look at our instructions here. Some details here about the car. Uh, this is the first of the Ferrari supercars. Um, and uh, there were 272 or something like that made. Um, and that's the classic Ferrari look from the 1980s. Here are our decals. And uh, reasonable condition, they are old, uh, but still usable. And uh, that just looks very nice. Here's our color code. 
right there. There's the parts listing. And like I said, there's the screws there that also appear in that bag. So let's have a look here and see. We start off with our uh, engine assembly there. Lots of detail and parts going into that. Then uh, transmission, cylinder heads, and that's all put together. Next, we put our belts together. There's also an oh, that's an engine stand, so you can actually put the engine out of the model if you want to. We've got some shock absorbers and then our exhaust. Then uh, here's the turbo system going on. As you can see, lots and lots of parts. There's the intercoolers going in as well. Okay, so uh, we then mount the uh, engine. That's if you're going to um, uh, put it in there, rather than on the engine stand. But if you do want to have it with no engine, that's the one option there. Um, and it shows you how to mount the um, suspension. That's in the front and the battery. And then... Uh, that's if you're going to put it uh, on the engine display. Wheels go together and uh, it shows you how they're supposed to attach. And then rear wheels, same thing. Here's our radiator. And then more parts for the uh, suspension. Here are our seats going together. And um, our rear suspension as well as the radiator. And then screwing in the wheels. So uh, here's more parts for our suspension there. That's the rear suspension and then rear wheels and then uh, our dashboard. Next we build the interior with the cockpit um, including our various parts as well as seats and instrument panel. That's all mounted to the chassis and then doors are put together. That's how to paint the console. It's on the engine braces there. And then putting our doors on there. Uh, that's, um, don't forget to use those hinge glues, hinge parts that are glued there, um, but not the actual doors. Now cut off those headlights so you can mount the headlights. That way they can come up and down. And then there's our hood. Putting the body together now with the um, headlights up or down, glasses going in. I'm going to need to figure out what to do with that uh, windshield. Unfortunately, it is cracked. And then more body parts, including ducts and vents and so on, going in there. Finally, the um, body is put together, and all the extra little pieces there are put on uh, to the main body. And here are the lights, windshield wipers, left and right and uh, the grill. So, uh, those are your options there for um, painting it. Italian red is the recommended one. I personally think I'll do that one. But you could also do it in yellow, white or black. Black also looks very nice. And then this is the uh, painting and decal guide. And what a beautiful car that is. So, all in all, reasonably good model kit. Uh, it's obviously old and my one unfortunately is damaged. Um, but if you can find one, um, I highly recommend this model. I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that uh, windshield.